Mary, listen. Your dad and I are packing our bags and leaving tomorrow, so... Wait, what? How come? You can't just spring this on me out of the blue. That's why I'm letting you know now. We are leaving tomorrow. From tomorrow on, you are going to be on your own. Sorry, I'm still confused about everything that's happening here, but... Where are you going if you're leaving so suddenly? We're going to Kyle's place starting tomorrow. We're going to stay with her. What? You're ditching me without warning and moving in with my older sister? Hold on a second. You do realize Kyle's place is actually a rented apartment, right? How are you going to fit in there? Won't you cause problems with her lease? Wow, you really are dumb, aren't you? Of course we aren't going to live in her apartment. We would never do something like that. Well then, where are you planning to live then? No matter how much you talk about how you're moving and living somewhere else, I still find this all incredibly hard to believe. Isn't it obvious we're going to live in a new house? I mean, a new house that Kyle's family built. A new house? Kyle and her family built a house? Yes, that's right. And not only that, the house is a duplex. They built it for your dad and me. Oh, I see. I guess that's nice to hear. But why am I only finding out about this now? Kyle never told me anything about building a new house or about any moving plans. What? Why do you think we had to inform you about it? It's not like we need your approval for anything. Well, perhaps it might be better to say that it would have actually been a problem if we had talked to you about it earlier. I am almost afraid to ask. But what do you mean by that? Isn't it obvious? If I had talked to you before about how there was a house built for us and how we were going to be living there, you would have just done everything you could to tag along with us. You would have tried to shamelessly guilt trip us into bringing you along. That's what Kyle was worrying about more than anything else. What are you talking about? Why on earth would I want to go along with you? What makes you think I would be so quick to just be all, Hey there, I'll be coming along with you, thank you very much. What made you think that I would do something so ridiculous? Huh? Well, of course you would do that. I mean, come on. Look at you. You're already 28 and you're still single and living with your parents. Meanwhile, Kyle's husband is a very successful business manager and is super rich. It's not strange at all to think that you'd want to take advantage of their money and try to just live off of them, don't you think? I have no idea how you could have come to such a ridiculous conclusion. You know how much I've hated Kyle. What with her always bullying me and rubbing her every little success in my face for as long as I can remember. Why in the world do you think I would just forget about all of that and want to move in with the house that her family owns? What, just because they have money? Doing something like that would be the furthest thing from my mind. I'm nowhere near that desperate. Hey, hold on now. Don't be rude. I never said I was the one thinking that. Just that it was a reasonable guess. Like I said earlier, this is what Kyle was worried about. She was thinking that maybe you try to barge in on her life and ruin her family's happy life in her new home. If things ended up like that, it would mean serious trouble for me too. Well, that response certainly doesn't surprise me in the slightest. This is how you've always been. Always thinking of Kyle over me. What makes you think I would ever want to come along and continue living with uncaring parents like you? Not only that, but aren't you the one who told me some time ago that living alone and single would have looked poorly on me to begin with? You were the one who was whining so much about the idea of me living alone that I just decided to stay with you so you would shut up about it. Don't go acting like I ever intended to live in this house ever since I became an adult. It's all because of your whining that I'm still here. Oh no, not this again. Stop trying to act tough around me. You know it's not going to work. Don't try to lie and say it was anything else other than you wanting to just live off us like a worthless parasite. Oh, sure. That's just the kind of thing I'd expect to hear from someone like you. Someone who left me to do every last bit of housework like I was your maid. People like you often try to say something like that to your kids when they start speaking up against you. Well, whatever. Since you're moving out tomorrow, I'll finally get to say goodbye to all of your bull once and for all. 
Frankly, I'm relieved to hear that that's what you've decided to do. I suppose I'll just look forward to finally living how I want starting tomorrow then. Oh, and one last thing I need to tell you. You had better continue living in that house, got it? Excuse me? Why? Frankly, I'd prefer to move as soon as I possibly can. I would be happy to not live one more second in this house. There's no reason for me to have to follow any such demand. Don't think I'll let you get away with doing that. You do realize that the house is our family home, right? I would never forgive you if you just selfishly abandoned our family's property. Are you crazy? Are you even listening to what you're saying? If you care so much about this house, the two of you should be the ones to take care of it, not me. What? Us? There's no way we would be able to do something like that. Just think for one second. Once we move, your father and I are going to be so busy helping Kyle every day. Sure, helping her. Like I'm going to believe you're going to do anything close to that. You do realize Kyle is working too, right? Since she's working, she's asked her father and me to deal with all the housework. It's ridiculous to think that we would be able to take care of our old house when we'll be so busy already in Kyle's. That only leaves you. Everything will turn out just fine if you just live in our old house and take care of it yourself. What? You think I can handle all of this on my own? You're crazy. That's out of the question. If you want to talk about being selfish, how about we look at how you're only telling me this the day before you move out? You haven't discussed this with me at all out of some stupid fear that Kyle has about me screwing up her life, so I have no need to listen to you either. How dare you? Are you forgetting who raised you? What makes you think you can act like this towards your mother? Honestly, I just don't understand how you could have grown to be this ungrateful, insolent woman when Kyle turned out perfectly. At the very least, if you had just gotten a job with a Fortune 500 company or something, then this would be a totally different story. Oh, so now you're trying to insult me because of what kind of work I do. I'd appreciate it if you didn't badmouth every aspect of my life. Well, I suppose I can't just cry about how it's so unfair that you only think about Kyle. I'm far too old for something childish like that. I am already well aware that no matter what I say to you, you won't give me the time of day. You clearly gave up on me ages ago. That's right. I guess I did raise you into someone who can at least understand some things. Well, then I'll be counting on you starting tomorrow. Oh, yeah. You won't need anything to eat for dinner tonight, right? Your father and I are going to be eating out with Kyle's family, so I won't be there to make anything for you. Yes, yes, I get it. Whatever. Please do enjoy your dinner out with the only family you actually care about. As for me, I don't exactly want to see your faces at all after today, so I'll be staying at a friend's place tonight. Excuse me? What about helping us with our move? If you don't get everything packed up for us, it will cause trouble for everyone. I figured you would say that. It's amazing just how unbelievably predictable you are. Why do you think I'm going to a friend's house in the first place? You're the ones who decided to plan all this behind my back in the first place. Why not take this as your first chance to get used to living life without relying on me for every single thing around the house? You'll be fine, I'm sure. Anyway, bye. What? You had better stay right at home. I'm telling you that there will be serious trouble if you don't help us with preparing for the move. Living in a two-family household is so wonderful. This is the kind of life I deserve for having such a successful businessman as a son-in-law. The bathroom even has a jacuzzi. I've never lived in such a luxurious and sophisticated way. You know, if you want to brag about how amazing your life is, you can just write it in a journal or maybe talk to someone who actually cares. You don't have to keep texting me about everything. Living with Kyle's family must be the best thing that ever happened to you, I'm sure. Anyway, bye. Hold on, you ungrateful little brat. Ever since I told you about our move, you haven't even shown up to see me. 
and you've just been out having fun with your friends and acting all innocent. You're still keeping that promise you made to me, aren't you? There will be serious consequences if you aren't. Huh? Promise? Don't act stupid. I'm talking about you staying at our old house and taking good care of it. Have you been cleaning it every day? There will be serious trouble if you have been ignoring it. Well, I'm definitely staying in the house right now. But other than that, I don't see why you feel the need to be constantly telling me to do whatever chores and whatnot you think needs to be done. Honestly, it's nothing but a bother. Really? I don't know why I'm even shocked that you continue to talk back like this to me anymore. When are you going to finally grow up and learn to take some responsibility? It would be so much better if you could just learn even a little bit from Kyle. She's a proper daughter who respects her parents and treats them well. What? Like you even care at this point? Instead of constantly worrying about a daughter like me, who, according to you, can't do anything right, why aren't you just focusing on living happily ever after with your favorite daughter, Kyle? Isn't talking to me just ruining your happy new life with the only daughter that matters to you? I wouldn't put it like that. I'm not even close to being worried about you. All your father and I are worried about is if our house is still in perfect condition. I'm only talking to you to make sure you're taking good care of it. This was originally something we were hoping to leave to some agency or another that could handle it for us. But we thought it would be a waste of money when we have our leeching daughter around who would do it for us. So we thought it would just be easier to leave it to you. We've been doing you a favor by leaving you a place to live rent-free. It shouldn't be so strange for us to just ask you to take care of the place you've been kindly lent in return, don't you think? Sorry. I'm afraid I have no clue what you're talking about. Anyway, you should just stop worrying about me and go enjoy your fun new life in your new house. I'm in the house. That's all that matters, right? I suppose, yes, that's true. I guess Kyle and I just worry too much, don't we? No matter how anxious we get about what you could be neglecting, if we worried about it every day, it would just shorten our lives. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't see how continuing to make snarky remarks at me is helping anything either, so I'm just going to hang up. Oh, you are such a disgusting daughter, you know. Not cute at all. Whatever. Remember, you need to keep taking good care of the house, got it? <laughs> Mary, pick up the phone already. I got a call from our old neighbors. Didn't I tell you over and over that you had to take good care of the house? Excuse me, I am taking good care of the house. I'm taking good care of the house I'm living in. The house you're living in? What are you implying? You're living in our house, aren't you? And yet, despite your claims that you're taking good care of it, I'm getting complaints from everyone. What do you have to say for yourself? The neighborhood has been complaining to us about a cat living at our house that's been pooping all over our garden. Our old neighbors have noticed the smell and are complaining to us about it. Huh. A cat? I have no clue what you're talking about. I don't have a cat, and I'm not looking after any stray ones either. I don't know what they're whining about. There is not a single cat in or around the house. That's not all. Along with cat poop, there have been weeds growing all over the garden. They've spread so far that they're getting in our neighbor's garden. They're shouting at me to do something about it. Do you call this taking care of the house? What? Garden? There's no garden at my house. Or I guess maybe calling it the house was wrong. I'm living in an apartment. Sorry, I guess I'm used to calling my home a house. I'm so sorry for the confusion. What? What do you mean? You're living in an apartment? What are you talking about? Before asking me that, don't you think it would be more useful to go check out your old house first? If there's all those complaints coming in from the neighbors, it might be better to go see the damage for yourself. It sounds to me like there might be some problems you're going to have to deal with, huh? I just got there. What on earth happened here? The place looks completely deserted. How could you let it deteriorate like this? Moreover, what was all that you were saying earlier? 
You said you were taking care of the house. What? Didn't you listen to me the first time? I'm taking care of my house. Or rather, my apartment. Oh, right. There's one other thing I'm taking care of right now. You just happened to text me as I was finishing up some important work. I have been working to cut off every aspect of my life from all of you, so you can never meddle with my affairs again. Huh? What are you talking about? Cutting yourself off from us? This isn't something that you just spring on someone out of the blue. What do you mean? Like how you and Dad did the same thing to me with your whole moving out bit? Besides, there shouldn't be any problem with me just telling you this now. It's not like I thought you needed to know anything about it. I'm just treating you the exact same way you treated me. You certainly didn't think it was important to let me know you were planning to move. And yet, you still expected me to help you prepare everything. On top of that, you try to make me take care of the house you were leaving behind. What I'm doing should fall perfectly well within the bounds of what you seem to find acceptable behavior. What are you talking about? You're basically saying you're disowning us. Well, yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. And? What do you mean by and? Moving out and disowning your family are two completely different things. Moreover, where are you even at right now? On the inside, the house is absolutely covered with dust. You weren't cleaning the house every day like you promised. There you go again, claiming I promised you something. I never made a single promise to you about cleaning a house or otherwise. I told you I was cleaning my house. I can't help it if my old habit of calling it a house led to the misunderstanding. I thought you understood. Then I'll ask you again. Where are you? Tell me where you are right now. No, even if you try to force me to tell you where I was, it wouldn't help. First off, I'm living in an apartment now, not an easily findable house. Secondly, it's not even my place to tell you where I'm living as I'd be violating another family's privacy. After all, after marrying my husband a month ago, I've been living with him and his extremely kind parents. It's my home now, but they would have to be the ones to decide who I give their address out to, not me. What did you just say? You got married? Why didn't you tell me you got married? Huh? What do you mean? Are you saying there was some need to inform you of it? Why would I tell a family I'm disowning about anything in my life? What are you talking about? Like I would ever accept you disowning your family. Do you know how angry Kyle is with you right now? She can't believe how horribly you treat us. How could you do something like that to us? Don't act like any of you ever even cared that much about me to begin with. For as long as I can remember, you all have only seen me as your slave. Am I wrong? What are you talking about? Of course, we never thought that. Oh, are you really going to try to deny that now? Well then, how about we take a quick look back at what's gone on for the past few months? You started off by suddenly telling me, your daughter, that you were moving out of your house one day before you planned to move. You expected me to do most of the moving work for you, then tried to order me to take care of the house after you were gone. You weren't letting me live there. No thanks for how much I helped you up to that point. You were making it sound like an obligation. You did everything you possibly could to try to force me to handle caring for the house you were essentially abandoning. You even told me you could have left it to a company that would take care of the house for you. But no, you left it to me so you could save money. Is that the kind of treatment you think a daughter deserves? How do you think your treatment of me looks to someone who never knew us? Do you think they'd see the relationship as mother and daughter or master and slave? What are you talking about? All of that was Kyle's fault. I mean, just look at how differently the two of you were acting. Not only were you single, you were nothing but a leech latching onto us and living off of us instead of living out there on your own. Kyle, on the other hand, married a wealthy husband and did what she could to let us live a happy life. Who do you think we would be nicer to? Even with your pathetic brain, it should be obvious. Of course we would pay more attention to Kyle. Oh, 
Is it because Kyle married a rich man? It's her fault that you treated me like trash. I'd say the fault pretty clearly lies with you. You just didn't want to have to deal with maintaining a house or the difficulties that come with living. So you made me do everything. You even went so far as to force me to take half of my salary and put it into your house. And now you've started living with the oh so much cuter daughter who you pampered so much as a child. All the while deciding to leave all of that tedious work you wanted to ignore to the slave girl you think your other daughter is. I'm sure you think you're just living it up right now, getting to stay with your nice daughter's rich family and their fancy house. But if we look at things another way, you're just living off someone else again, aren't you? This is no different than when you just lived carefree, leaving all the work to me like you would a slave. If anyone here should be called a leech, I think you fit the bill best of all. What makes you think you have the right to talk to me like that? Honestly, expecting someone else to keep a promise you made without even telling them? No one would do something like that. That house is not my house. I don't see why I even need to tell you this. But it's the obligation of the owner of the house to take care of it, isn't it? If you didn't want to shoulder the responsibility yourself, then maybe you should have thought a bit more about the person you wanted to leave it to. And maybe, I don't know, just not try to drop the responsibility into their lap at the last minute? But I guess it's just too late to go taking back everything you did now. You made this bed for yourself. You lie in it. Good luck cleaning up the house and quieting the neighbors. Wait, no, hold on. Won't you at least try to consider the whole disowning your family thing? You don't have to cut us out of your life entirely. Couldn't you at least return to the house you lived in for so long? Just once as my daughter. I mean, you can't just go and live with your husband's family without even introducing them to us, can you? That just wouldn't be proper. I mean, they'll become our relatives too, you know? Come on, you could at least just help us with the house, can't you? I would appreciate it if you didn't try to treat my family like your own personal workhorses. You are all nothing to me now. I don't consider any of you my family. I was more than happy to get rid of your horrid last name when I got married. Please do not contact me ever again. Please, hold on. I'm sorry. Your mother was wrong. So can't we please just talk about this like sensible adults? Look, I don't think you really understand the situation here. I don't know where you get off trying to call yourself my mother. The only mother I have now is the mother of my husband. And a horrid woman like you can never hope to compare yourself to her. I married my husband a month ago, but we had been dating for over a year before that. After that last conversation, I felt like I had to tell them what my awful family had done to me. It took a long time to explain all the terrible things they had put me through, but when I finally finished, my mother-in-law cried and hugged me, saying, from now on, I will be the mother you never had. Those words made me happier than I ever thought possible. I burst into tears and cried, hiding my face in her chest as she gently stroked my hair. From then on, I never went back to that house full of bad memories and horrible parents. Instead, I started a new happy life with my husband and his family, the only family that matters to me now. As for my old parents, they tried their best to get rid of the stray cats that had taken over their garden. And from what I heard, they had a really hard time apologizing to everyone for letting the house get so run down. Not only that, but the whole story finally reached the ears of my old sister's husband and his family. My old home is now occupied again, but only by my old parents and my old sister. They still get to live with their favorite daughter, so I guess they're happy, right?